Okay, so yes, good morning students. So now we will start our today's class where we are continuing the chapter combustion and flames. So this is our fourth lesson. And first we will start by recalling that what we studied in our previous class. We studied about the different types of combustion and the factors affecting different types of combustion and their examples. And also we read about the use of fire extinguisher so these were some of the things that we discussed in our previous class. So now we will move on ahead and see some more interesting topics, right? Okay, so this was all about the recalling part. So now there are two pictures in front of you and you have to tell me like what you can see in these two pictures. Okay, you can write your answers in the chat box and there, like this way we will have a discussion, right? So in first picture, you can see a candle, okay, that is burning and this candle is uh, having a flame, right? This flame, okay. What about the second picture? What we can see? In the second picture, we can see the LPG gas is there, right? This LPG gas is also burning. And here we can see the flames, the blue flames are there, okay? So in both the pictures, uh, either the candle is burning, or the gas is burning, the LPG gas is burning and we can see the flames. So now let's move on ahead and see some more details about some different uh, combustible things, right? So in this, what do you observe in this? Okay, I will give you five seconds till then you have to write your answers in the chat box and then we will discuss what you are able to recognize in these two pictures. Okay. Yes, I can see the right responses. Very good. Okay, so now let's discuss what we are able to see. In the first picture, as we have seen in and also performed an activity in our previous classes, like the burning of the magnesium ribbon, right? So it burns very brightly. You must have seen that, how it burns. But And what about coal? How does it burn? It is not that bright as the magnesium ribbon, but it does burn quickly, right? So what difference do you see in both the flames in case of magnesium ribbon and in case of car, uh, in the case of coal? So in case of magnesium ribbon, the ribbon burns with a very high flame. But in case of uh, coal burning, the flames are not there. Even though we can see the heat, we can see the energy flowing. Yes, so these are the different types of flames. So first we will study what a flame is, what it actually is the proper definition of the flame, right? So we will first move on ahead and we will see what a flame is. As you can see, our topic for today is, our first topic for today is flame. So what is the definition of flame and what are the keywords? You can write the keywords in the chat box till then. And now we will discuss the definition. The hot glowing body of ignited gas that is generated by something on fire is called as flame. So in this candle, this burning hot glowing body, here is the flame. So this is the flame region. Like usually what are the features of the flame? It is hot and glowing and it is like burning. It has a burning sensation. So this is a flame, a definition for flame. Okay. So now let's see. I have a curiosity question for you. We will move on ahead and see that question. Okay. okay, so yes. So now my question is, do all substances produce flame? And if yes, which are those substances? And if no, which are those substances? You have to write your answers in the chat box. I will give you five seconds and then we will discuss the answers on this question. Okay, I can see the right responses that you all are responding. Okay, so the substances, uh, not all the substances, they produce flame while burning. In case of coal, coal was not producing flame. Sometimes it does produce, but sometimes it does, it does not produce flames. And in case of candle, it produced a flame. In case of the LPG burning, it produces flame. Sometimes uh, some uh, combustible substance, they do not produce flame. 
and also we discussed one more example uh, magnesium ribbon yes when it was burning it was producing a very bright flame so these are some of the examples of the combustible substances that produce flame this was all about this question now we will move on ahead oh, so now let's fill this table it is again a question for evaluating the first topic that we read right okay so now there are some materials given and you have to write whether they will produce flame if yes you have to tick and if no then you have to tick on that so candle does it produce flame or not yes magnesium it produces flame camphor yes or no for this you have to find out because it is something new that you are listening so for this you have to find out today you have to go at home you have to find it on internet so the uh, does camphor produce flame or not if yes then you can write in the chat box if no then you can write in the chat box and you also have to give reason okay so kerosene stove will it produce flame or not yes it will produce flame what about charcoal the same coal that we use yes it will also produce flame so these are some of the co uh, common things but camphor was something new and you have to find that answer for the new one you have to find the answer will it produce flame or not if it is burn right so now i think are you clear with the concept that we studied just now yeah if you have any doubt you can ask in the chat box we will wait for 5 seconds only then we will move on to our next topic okay yes okay so now we will move on ahead and see some more interesting question related to flames right okay so now we will move on ahead to our next slide in this slide again first you have to tell me what you notice in both these pictures and then i will ask my question okay in the first picture uh, you can write your answers in the chat box till then okay in the first picture you can see that there is a candle yes very good and uh, in the second picture we can see the coal is burning yes very good so as you all know that when candle it burns it produces flame right so now do you uh, like now i have a question like how does the formation of flame happens like what is causing this flame to form in candle but not in coal you have to think and answer and if you are not able to answer we will see further more information on it and then we will move on ahead with our topic okay so i think everyone is confused now like how this formation of flame happens okay so now we will move on to our topic so now our sec second topic for today is formation of flames okay, so now we will move on to our next slide and we will see some more details so you in this uh, definition what you have to do is you have to focus on the key words and then you will get your answers like what factors are responsible for the formation of flames so first when a candle burns the wax melts and changes to its liquid form right so the molten wax then rises through the wick and burns in the form of vapor and as a result produces flame so now you know how the flame is being produced in a candle it, it produces because the wax the wax it melts it changes into liquid form and the molten wax then rises through the wick right here it rises through the wick and burns in the form of vapor vapors are produced and as a result it produces a flame so this is a flame so this is how the candle produces a flame so now are you clear with the concept of formation of flame in a candle yes i can see the responses yes right so you all are clear so now we will move on ahead and see some more questions and more concept interesting concepts so first uh, now i have a curiosity question for you okay let's see the question why charcoal does not produce a flame you have to answer it okay yes okay so first i will give you 5 seconds till then you can think and then you have to write your answers in the chat box okay 
Okay, so someone is saying that charcoal is not producing any liquid, so that's why it is not burning. Okay, it can be one of the answers. Yes. What else? It is not forming any vapor. Okay, it can be an answer. Yes. Okay, for this, what you have to do is you have to find your answer on your own from the internet. Okay. Uh, then you will come to know various interesting facts uh, for this flame production in charcoal. As we did one example, like how flames are produced uh, in case of candles. But in case of charcoal, you have to find it. Like why the flames are not being produced in charcoal. So now we will move on to our next question. And in next class, I will ask you, why is it? Uh, why is it this way, right? Okay. So which of the following does not produce flame while burning? Wax, petrol, diesel, or coal? We just discussed right now. So what according to you will be the answer? You can write in the chat box. I will give you five seconds to answer. Okay. Yes, I can see the right responses. Yes, you all are right. So yes, the correct answer is coal. Okay, so now we will move on ahead and see some more activities. So now in front of you, there is a picture and you have to identify what this picture is showing again. It is showing the same thing, the candle and, and its flame, right? But now my question is, what all different colors can you see in this flame? Yes, in this flame, what all different colors can you see? Okay, there is some blue color. Yes, very good. What about others? Yes, there is some yellowish color. Yellow is there. Then there is blue. And here we can see some whitish color also. Okay, so yes, a flame is having different colors according to this diagram that we see in front of us. Yes or no? Okay, yes, it is having. So now what we are about to study is, let me move the slide further. So yes, what are we going to study now? Yes, the structure of flames, right? So now we will see a diagram of structure of flame and you have to first observe it. I will give you five seconds and then we will discuss what we are observing in this. Okay, yes, we can see some non -lum There are three types of zones, non-luminous zones, this yellow zone, and then the luminous zone, it is the white zone. And then the, there comes the dark zone. The color, is, the color here is a little bit darkish. So what are the three different types of zone in a flame, in the structure of flame? First is non-luminous, second is luminous, and the third is dark zone. So these are the three zones that are present in the structure of flame. Okay, so now here you can see the colors also are mentioned. So this is the middle zone. So what is the color given to the middle zone? Yes, it is yellowish color. Okay, so now comes the inner zone. So the inner zone is given which color? It is given somewhat blackish color, right? And the outer zone. So which color is given to the outer zone? It is the blue color. As you can see, the blue is outlining here, right? So yes, it is the blue color. So now middle zone, uh, okay. First, we will go from outer zone. The outer zone is having which color? Blue color. Yes, very good. And the middle zone is having which color? Yellow color. Okay. And the inner zone is having which color? Black color. Yes, very good. So now what we got to know more about flames, we got to know that there are different types of zones and each of these zones have different colors, right? So this was the main information that we got about the structure of the flame. So now we will see some more details about the structure of the flame, right? Okay. So now comes this diagram. So what this diagram is telling us new from the other two diagrams that we just saw. So yes, the outer zone here, the outer zone is the hottest zone. So what was the color of the outer zone? It was blue color. So it is the hottest part. And the middle zone, what was the color for the middle zone? It was yellow. And what will be the 
intensity of heat there it will be moderately hot and the inner zone was of black color right because of its unburnt wax vapors so what was what will be the intensity of the inner black zone it will be least hot why it will be least hot because there is still unburnt wax vapors are present that's why it is black in color whereas in the outer zone it is the hottest part because there is complete combustion so this is causing it to get hot very easily and faster so that's why the outer zone is the hottest part so now we all know what now we all know that uh, what what uh, what all things we know about the structure of flame now we know the different zones we know the different colors of these zones and third point we know is which zone is how much hotter the intensity of hotness of these zones so now are you clear with the concept of the structure of flame if yes you can write yes in the chat box if, and if you have any doubt you can ask that question in the chat box also uh, okay i will give you 5 seconds and then we will move on ahead and see a curiosity question because this time paheli will be asking a question as she is very curious just as gujo we will solve their question okay so yes i think you all are clear so now we will move on ahead so let's see what paheli's question is okay a goldsmith blows the outermost zone of flame with a metallic blow pipe of melting gold and silver for melting gold and silver why do they use the outermost zone of the flame okay so now this is very interesting question why okay for this what you have to do is you have to go to the internet and find out why they are using it why they are using the outermost zone of the flame and not the middle one and the inner one um, and then you have to share your answers in the tomorrow's class like why okay or if you have your answers right now you can also write in the chat box so now coming to the question what is the color of the outermost zone of the flame red color black color orange color or blue color so now i will be giving you 5 seconds to answer in the chat box and then we will discuss the right answer okay yes i can see the right responses yes very good so the right answer is blue color right okay very good so now let's move ahead okay so yes now this is a diagram of uh, the flame okay so now we have to write here the zone so what will this arrow first arrow will which zone it is it is the outermost zone and which zone it is it is the middle zone yes very good you can write your answers in the chat box and what is the third uh, picture showing which zone it will show the innermost zone yes very good okay so what is the intensity of heat in the outer zone high right yes or no yes right Okay, and what about the intensity in the middle region? It is moderate, right? <laughs> okay. What about the inner zone? It is low. The intensity of heat is low. So yes, you all answered it correctly. So now we will move on ahead. Coming to the recapitulation part, what all things we studied today? We studied about flame, what a flame is, and then we studied how there is the formation of flame happens in a candle by taking an example of a candle and the structure of flame so this was all we discussed today coming on to the homework part so there are the, there are these three questions that you have to solve in your notebook and then comes the activity in this activity what you have to do is you have to take a piece of thin wood piece of thin wooden sticks start burning it and observe whether the wooden sticks produces a flame or not if yes why and if no why not so you have to after performing this activity you have to write your answers in your notebooks and and also before performing this activity please perform this activity under the adult supervision as fire is involved so there will so there should be no carelessness while performing this activity right okay. 
Okay, so now if you have any doubt, you can write in the chat box. I will give you five seconds to write your doubts. If no, then we will end our class here today. Okay, so I think uh, no one is having any doubt. So yes, so thank you students and we will meet in our next class with some new topics related to this chapter. Only some topics are left. So we will cover that in our next class. Okay, thank you.